Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Alyssa, the Senior Style and Planning Editor here at The Knot, and you are watching Save or Splurge Registry Edition. Today we're talking all about blenders, and I have the unofficial blender king, Henry, here with his oh, wife, Whitney. I didn't realize I was the unofficial a lot blender about king. Your, I thought your I blender had skills, you. so I, I, I think we've got the right man for the job today. <laughs> so too. You guys love smoothies, I hear. Or maybe Henry loves smoothies. I do. I try to have one every, mo every morning, but recently my blender broke. So okay, this I is perfect timing then. Uh, We're gonna run through three options for you guys yes. that you could have added to your registry had you had a traditional wedding, but you eloped, which is totally fine. It was fine, but we didn't get the but gifts. But you didn't get the registry <laughs> gifts. So, so this is, we can help you figure out what you can now just save up for in your normal life. All right, so the first one we have here is the Nutribullet. It's around $100 and it's great for single serve. So Henry, if you're making these in the morning and Whitney has no interest in it, this is a great blender for you because you can make one serving for yourself and then be done with it. So all you do with these is you just put them in here. Wanna hand me that coconut water? You got it. So we'll add a good amount of coconut water in here. And so you guys will see we have the same smoothie ingredients in everything. So we have kale, pineapple, and raspberry, some strawberries in here as well. I know maybe some people aren't huge fans of kale, right? No, I'm a fan of kale. Are you? Okay. Yeah, Henry doesn't believe in kale in smoothies. Okay, what do you believe in kale in? <laughs> well, I tried it in a smoothie, but my blender didn't do its job right, and I ended up just eating chunks of frozen kale. Which is so never good. It was not a good experience. But so to your point, kale is really hard to blend correctly, so it's good. It's a good uh, test of these blender's strengths to see how well they pulverize kale. So all you do with the Nutribullet is you put it in here. There's no buttons on the front, as you can see. You just have to press it down, and it'll start doing the work for you. All right, that looks pretty well blended. Should we try yeah, it out? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's try that out. The kale looks blended. It does it look does. blended. You can see some seeds, which is always yummy too. All right, so all of these smoothies will pretty much taste the same ingredient-wise, but we wanna see texture. We wanna see how everything blended together. Cheers. 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 I love how we have straws. Very classy. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh, it's mm. good. Pretty smooth. That's really good. And I like the fact that I'm not eating a kale no salad chunks of kale. while I'm <laughs> drinking my smoothie. Yeah, I can't even taste the kale, actually. Mm -hmm. This is like a good thing if you're trying to get someone to eat more veggies. Yeah. All right, so the next one we have is the Ninja Blender. It has a lot of different parts with it. So it has this main compartment, which looks like a traditional blender. Right. But then it also has smaller ones, so you can make smaller single size servings just like this one or you can do things like chopping salsa or making a guacamole or things like that. It has a ton of different settings. So there's pretty much nothing you can't do with this guy. Okay. So we right. are going to, again, add some water. Water boy, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we have actually a smoothie setting on here, which makes it really easy. So all we have to do is just push that. So the great thing about this is Ooh. it has a little flip top on top. So it's really easy pouring. You don't have to scoop it out with a spoon or anything like that. Oh, amazing. Oh, yeah. Ooh, also good. Very good. Feels like it has a really, like, good, great like, consistency. sipping texture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can see if you look in it, like, how small the kale mm -hmm. is. It really chopped it up. Oh, that's great. I also right. like that you can use this for multiple things, especially. Yeah, I love the idea of making salsa, salsa or something in this. Mm -hmm. It's really good. You can actually, they have a bread attachment too. You can put it in there and knead dough. As well, so oh, wow. it I really does a little bit of everything. Our own bread, <laughs> yeah, but now, but now you do. do. So I know what I'm going right. to be doing soon. Bread king and smoothie <laughs> king. <laughs> Our final one is the Vitamix. I'm sure you guys have heard of Vitamix, yes. right? It's yes, like yes. the creme de la creme of blenders. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll run you about five hundred dollars, but it does everything. So this has speed settings and presets that you can use. So if you know you're making a smoothie or you know you're making a soup. The great thing about this is you can put all of your soup ingredients a in soup? here. Yep, and it will heat it up for you, which is kind of amazing. So you essentially cook okay. and blend the soup in here. So tomato soup or butternut squash soup, yeah. anything like that, you can make right in here. So we're gonna mix this up. You can either put it on pulse or just hit flip the start button and it'll run itself the entire time. I like to actually pulse it because it, it mixes it up a little bit easier. Okay. How's that for some horsepower, You're right? not messing around No, with this, this guy. thing oh, means okay. business. And so you can just turn this around and pour it out the spout just as easily. Cheers. 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 
Oh, that's very smooth. The smoothest, definitely mm -hmm. the smoothest. Yeah. yeah, very smooth. Very smooth. That was great. Mm -hmm. I taste I mean, the kale. We have a lot of kale in this one too. We don't feel the kale. We don't feel the kale. I actually can't separate any of the ingredients out, which I really like. Like even seeds from the, mm -hmm. the berries, I can't find. All right, Mr. Pro, what's your consensus over there? Which one would I choose? Yeah. <laughs> so I used to have a personal one, mm -hmm. which just broke. So I think I'm ready to upgrade to the Ninja. Okay. It was great. It's a little bit more powerful than what I used to use. Mm -hmm. It actually blended the kale, but so did the Nutribullet. Yeah. So, yeah. But I'm ready for a larger capacity. Want to do more stuff with it. What about you, Whit? Well, I just feel like I I trust you with your smoothie knowledge, but for me, I actually just kind of like the Nutribullet just because. I like the thought of like not cleaning up anything else. I like the idea of having a single that serve. single thing. Pop it on, pop it off. Yeah. I don't have to mess with anything. I just push down. Totally. For me, that's super easy. And, and it I'm actually okay comes with, with tops too that you screw right on top of the can that you made it in. You can take it with you to go. That's so genius. you don't even need to yeah. pour it into another glass. I like that just for ease of use. And for our apartment, it's small, it's great. So it seems like you guys landed on your winner. Right? I'll let you finish out your smoothies. And everyone watching, you should head to thenot.com and start your own registries if you haven't already. You can add tons of goodies like these for your own home, plus start charity funds, cash funds to pay for everything from your honeymoon. Whatever you want, you can start it on thenot.com. And we'll see you back here soon with more videos. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks for helping me out, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our channel for new videos every week. The subscribe button, it's up there.